What is up guys? Welcome back to Schnex Plays Minecraft episode 79. Today, new snapshot, 20w15a, new black blocks added to the game. We're going to go to the nether, we're going to reset it around the nether hub. We're not going to get rid of anything important, but I'm going to go reset the nether and we're going to go find the new biome. We're going to grab heaps of new black blocks and we're going to find a little plot on our island and build a nice looking base. Ow. <laughs> I don't know what's up with these guys. <laughs> they just, they like to click on two down. They don't know actually how to get to me. <laughs> you guys ready for today? Let's get into it. Okay guys, you join me in the nether hub. We built this in episode 8 or 9 of the Let's Play series. Uh, we converted it to a smaller mini hub when we switched from multiplayer to single player in this world. Um, I was just flying around in here and as you might see in the background if YouTube allows it, the sky is very dark. So what has happened is I've upgraded the world, um, I've cut out chunks around it and we are now in the new basalt biome. So if we fly around here, we're still in the nether wastes biome and you can see tunnels around here, but look at this. And the new chunks that I've removed, that I've regenerated. Where are you? We don't need you right now. Um, around us, the basalt biome has generated. So everything around here is nether tunnels. Just going down here to the mesas to the snow biome, to our um, new nether area, and to our woodland mansion. We've got all the old stuff. New stuff, basalt. And what has happened is now we're in a black ambient area. And that's not very good for building. Also, I don't really like the transition between old and new right beside our base. So, I'm going to make the cool guys. Uh, some of you might be a fan of this. Oh, uh, there goes my stuff into the lava. Okay, good news guys, uh, we didn't lose everything, we only lost our firework rockets and an ender chest. Yes, I think that's everything. I have my gold, my gold helmet for trading, so the piglins don't attack me. Uh, I got my food, got my torches, got arrows. I think I got everything apart from my ender chest. Yes, perfect. Okay, uh, guys. I'm going to make the executive decision here. I might get a few comments of anger. I might get a few comments saying this is amazing, but I think I'm inspired to build a new nether hub. What's going to happen, guys, is I'm going to wipe the entire nether out, uh, and we are going to start from scratch. Build a brand new nether hub with the 1.16 blocks. How's that sound? Yeah? Okay. I'm going to do it. Let's go through here. Say goodbye to this nether. It's been it's been a wild ride, guy. Been here since episode 8. Let's come back out into our main nether hub. Let's stand here. Let's let's go back in. I also added a little soul campfire. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> okay. Uh let's go back into the nether hub and see what we have to work with. Oh goodness. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a fun little project. <laughs> oh, what have I done? Uh, we'll get this guy out of the way first. Okay, so we're going to have magma cubes in our new nether biome. Uh, let's hope that this vlog doesn't compress too poorly on YouTube or I've made a very poor mistake. Okay, um, I am going to uh, flatten out a surface. Uh, I will do a few concept builds and creative and I will bring you back once I've got something figured out. But uh, let us switch over to creative world real fast and figure out what we've got to work with. I have put down every black block I could find in the game, in the creative menu, and this is what we've got. We've got a wool, we've got a shulker box, we've got a black terracotta, concrete powder, wool, coal, and obsidian. And now added to the game, the blackstone. 
Uh, we can make two slabs, three stairs, three pillars, two pillars now, <laughs> and four different types of blocks. We got the polished, we got the brick, we got the cracked brick, and we got the chiseled. And then we've got basalt as well. I really like the basalt texture. It's almost like a wood block, like a stone tree. Uh, a lot of relics could be made out of this. A lot of um, cool little surrounds could be made out of this. Uh, what I want to do is grab all these blocks, build something up, and then see what accent blocks go well with it. Because uh, this is what our nether template's gonna be used for. Uh, we've got all these blocks around us to be used. We've also got the quartz pillar and the quartz, oh, this one. This is gonna be a lot of people's new favorite block. The quartz brick, man. That's like, looks like the most expensive block in the game. Okay, uh, I am going to do a little bit of work uh, off camera and I'll bring you guys back when I've got an idea. I've been messing around for the past 20 minutes, half an hour, and I think I've got a good color palette. Uh, the main block I'm gonna be using, I wanted to use basalt, uh, because that's the most abundant block in the new biome, but I am going to go with the blackstone as our main block. Uh, I was messing around with some accents, so the warped wood, the green one, and the prismarine brick, also the red warped brick. Uh, I'm not too sure on the red one. I think it needs a lighter contrast, so I'm gonna go with the green block as the accent. Uh, I've also been messing around with some lava, some acacia trap doors, and a lot of sand and red sandstone. Uh, a little bit of acacia, a lot of wood, but uh, I don't really want too much wood in the nether because I do not have fire tick turned off. Uh, yeah, so this, I reckon, will be a good wall for the central hub of the nether. So what I'm thinking is it'll be quite open. We might do a glass dome. Not too sure how we're going to be enclosed. But imagine this design on all four sides leading up to the nether portal. Uh, this was just a placeholder. I'm not too sure how tall or how deep it will be. But we've got a small corridor, feels real enclosed, which I like, all the way up to the nether portal. And then I'm not sure on top whether we do... I tried a blackstone top to this and it looked too dark. So either sandstone because it's cheap or quartz because it's fancy. Black and white is always a good contrast. Uh, and then I thought for the ceiling, when we're over here, if we look up, just imagine sort of like beams going crisscross at the top, whether we do a three by three basalt or we do a five by five or seven by seven, I'm just laying out some basalt here just to sort of think what it would look like on top and whether it's like a dome on top or whether it's straight up or how high it could be, 20, 30, 40 blocks up. Uh, and then also we've got a little bit of granite as an accent block behind it. That looks really cool. And then we've got a little bit of a, three block depth into a lava light. A uh, lava light source in this um, will be really, really catchy. I was gonna use lamps or glowstone, but when you got lava around, might as well use lava. So yeah, uh, I'm going to jump back into survival and hopefully we can figure out a place. Uh, and we might do it at lava level because with the new striders, uh, we've got uh, ability to walk on lava. So uh, yeah. I might start, so this might be Y65, I think that's where lava starts, probably not in the nether, I haven't been in there in a while, um, yeah, so this will probably be one above lava level, and then we'll go from there, so let us jump back in there, we'll dig out a spot, and then we'll start on all four sides and see where we're at. That didn't last very long, did it? Fire resist, guys, come on! Why didn't you tell me to take a fire resist potion? <laughs> On the plus side, netherite tools don't burn in lava. So, I managed to fetch those back, but we do need an upgrade. Uh, we do need a backup, which I always have right here. <laughs> Just in case. We don't need the pick, we don't need the shovel, uh, we need fire rockets, and I don't have my bow as a backup. Or a sword. <laughs> It's a good backup, isn't it? <laughs> okay, uh, so I need a new bow, I need blocks, and I need food. There we go, almost an hour of fire resist. That should keep us going for a little while. <laughs> and yes, guys, I saw the bow in my inventory. I'm silly, okay? 
<laughs> for everyone that yelled at me saying the bow's right there i didn't see it okay this is starting to become a bit frustrating <laughs> how to keep all these guys away <laughs> while i'm trying to mine <laughs> Far out. <laughs> oh, where'd they go? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, these magma guys. Oh, far out. I might have made a big mistake building in this area, guys. <laughs> I really need to start spawn proofing from magmas. Ah, oh, this is the spot we need, though. Right here. Cool. Right there. That's our center point. You. <laughs> it's like they. Oh my goodness. <laughs> can you get me here? You can get me there. Can you get me here? Okay, so they can surf. Okay, guys. We're making the call, making it three above lava, because these guys cannot get to the platform. Luckily we found that out this time rather than once we built the whole thing and they swarmed us. <laughs> okay, so uh, three above lava is the plan. Okay guys, it is two weeks later. <laughs> we are now in the snapshot uh, 20W18A and we have done some work. We've also made a few floating striders. Uh, if you want to check out that video, check out the previous video on my channel. I figured out how to make these guys fly. Uh, for some reason they were spawning in the lava pits, I was punching them off and they were floating. Uh, yeah, and they, they're very loud. Uh, so yeah, if we want to take a little journey down to this platform here, I've got a viewing area for you guys. Let's just have a look out, because there's no ghasts at the moment. Of course, this happens every time. Eat. <laughs> oh, how many times have fallen to lava? Okay, uh, let us go to the viewing platform, or let's just take a fly around here. So, uh, last time I left you guys, we had this little concept in creative. I have since built it on all four sides and flipped it above the nether portal. Uh, we did have this area over here as well. I wasn't too sure what to put on top. Uh, and I, I put basalt on the bottom into the lava to transition it. I've also put it on top. And I might change this because it looks like a hat. <laughs> it looks like the new nether uh, hub looks like it has a hat on it. And there's a lot of magma cubes. So I might actually extend this area up. Uh, let's try and land on this glass platform. Uh, yeah, so this basalt area, hand placed. Uh, it has got this natural terrain around it, so it looks like it's into the natural terrain. But I actually really like how it worked out. Uh, I've got the middle area still to do with interior. We've got our guardian farm. We've got our main, uh, our main, what do you call it? Our main base, and we've got the right side of the base. Uh, we do have a few of the magma cubes spawning, but they are on top. I have spawn proofed the whole area, so if we come in here, we're safe from all the magma cubes. Nice little area here. I really like it. I really enjoy how this turned out. I did have this whole internal area as blackstone, but it's it's way too dark. So I introduced sandstone and quartz into it. Um, ignore that guy over there. <laughs> He's my first guy. Um, jump up here. Who needs minecart elevators when you've got strider elevators, am I right? <laughs> so uh, I made storage up here. I'm probably going to do storage all the way around. So like an enchanting zone, a brewing stand. And let me know in the comments what I should put in the other three areas. Whether or not we have the chest room or just chests all around. I reckon chests all around will look pretty good. But we have our central area over here. Uh, this, yeah, let's back to the normal hub. We got the... The right side of the island we got the prismarine farm and then we've got our mesa just over this way what i'm thinking though is for these nether portals that is floating at the moment uh and what i need to do is make some sort of raggedy path i reckon like some sort of parkour jump 
and then we'll we'll have below here sort of like the same effect as these um, basalt spikes just so it looks like it's floating on a basalt island or whether or not it sort of weaves down into the lava uh, if we come around here it's, it's pretty fun just placing this it looks real natural uh, if we come around the side you can sort of see how I place these things uh, this side isn't done completely yet so what I did is I just had a little cobblestone steps and then I just stepped it up with some basalt I see you no thanks go away <laughs> punch is the best thing we could have done in the nether right now uh, boom. okay um, yeah around the side we've got all of this to deal with so I didn't have to do too much detail work at the back uh, but yeah this is the nether hub as of phase one phase two I'm going to have to do some little islands or some little pillars up for this near the portal here and there and then uh, this is our mesa just over here uh, how i'm going to attach this one not too sure uh, and also the beacon whether or not we move that to the middle of the nether hub because what i've got down here at the moment is a little a build area so this is how i built it up uh, lots of lava flow uh, this is with the old nether portal i, I built the nether portal down here first and I thought this was going to be the base, but then um, I, I just started moving it up and up and up further because the magma cube is going to spawn anyway on these spikes here. But in order to get up, they need to bounce all the way across and only the small guys can actually get up. So you see how this guy can't get in? That's how we need to do it. So if I stand here, we're safe. So this is our defense mechanism for the nether hub if these guys want to try and get in. So yeah. This is all half slabbed, it's all safe. So we do whatever we want in here. Uh, whether or not we keep this whole area open for a cool effect, or we put a staircase up. Because just above that lava is those basalt pillars. But yeah, uh, that is the Nether Hub 2.0. Uh, it is a bit smaller in terms of size from the old one, but I really like it. I really like how this turned out. Um, before we go, uh, I did a little bit of exploring, and if uh, my cartography skills are correct, we should be going through this little hole here to the, what's it called? The new Bastion Ruins. Just through here, down a little bit, and up, and just around here should be the Bastion Ruins. There we go. Perfect. Beautiful. So these piglin, I haven't got my gold helmet with me, it's going to be a bit of a mission. Uh, yeah, so the new Bastion Ruins, we've got the full uh, temple down here. Uh, do we think we're prepared to go in? Well, we're going to find out. <laughs> oh, okay, so uh, these guys angry with me right now. Chests over there, beautiful. I haven't explored this, I just found it, and I thought I'd explore with you guys. So let's see if these guys get angry. Hello? Yes, you do. <laughs> okay, uh, that's not anything to try and grab straight away. Uh, I'm not sure, do you guys want me to have a look at seeing if we can build a base here or not? Uh, for now, we'll just, we'll, we'll, we'll take note of where this was. And, oh, oh, oh. I heard lava burn. <laughs> Crap. Okay, it seems we have lost our shoes, uh, unless I've missed them at some point. Yep, and I'm getting out of here. <laughs> nope, not today. <laughs> okay, uh, I think, guys, that is going to do it for our nether endeavors, but let me meet you in the overworld to work on the next part of today's episode. I wonder if the rain affects the sky. It's raining. You should be burning. I've got no arrows as well. I lost the arrows. Okay, guys. Next part of today's build is this nether portal right here. I have logged my camera account in. And we're going to rip this thing down, do a super fast build mode, and rip this down, make it modern, make it 1.16. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. I did not do a, any pre-work in a creative world. We're just going to see what happens. So, let's get 
this. Oh. Let's get this stuff. All right, guys, it is all done. I really like how it came out. Look at that. Uh, now that is a nether fortress entrance right there. Did I go too heavy on the purple? I might have gone too heavy on the purple. Uh, yeah, guys, tell me what you think. Uh, I think it turned out really well. I didn't want to go too overboard with the blackstone. I did frame it out, and then I did too many blackstone rails around the place. And it just got too busy, so I I broke it up with some of the wood of each of the the red and the greens. I uh, got some of the nether wart block for another accent block, and then I thought these two spots were quite bare, so I did like a little ship sort of uh, veranda, and I got two pigmen. I put them up there, name tagged them, so they'll stay there forever. And I think it, it adds to the build a lot more than if it wasn't there. So, there we go. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> that was probably like four or five hours of building, I think. Um, anyway, I think we're going to wrap it up there, guys. Let us go over to the subscriber room. And let's see who's on the wall for episode 79. If you guys don't know what the subscriber room is, uh, every single episode I pick out someone in the comments. Uh, you leave your in-game name. Uh, with your Minecraft name in the comments below and I will put you on the wall for the corresponding episode and since we're in the nether and we've got new signs Pite KG congrats you are on the wall for episode 79 if you want to be on the wall for episode 80 leave your in-game name in the comments below and you could be on the wall for episode 80 anyway guys that's gonna do it for me today Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see in the 1.16 update. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.